Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. I am still on the treadmill, getting my steps in, but I thought I would jump on here really quick to tell you guys, I have been starving. <laughs> so I've been doing keto and I've been doing really good sticking to it, but I am ravenous hungry, like pretty much all day, every day. I typically wake up and I'm not hungry. You guys know I do intermittent fasting. But I am so hungry doing keto. I don't know if it's just my body adjusting or what, but super hungry. So that's been something going on. And then I also started taking my MCT oil because it says like if you're fasting and trying to work out on keto, it might be a good idea to do some MCT oil to help you through your workout, give yourself more fat. But y'all, I'm so hungry right now and I did my MCT oil but just thought I would pop on here in the moment and let you guys know how I've been feeling I'm gonna finish getting my steps in and then I'm gonna go make me some breakfast because I am ravenous got my breakfast done I had extra um, broccoli left over from yesterday so I just threw it into my eggs because you guys I need as much volume as possible. I'm literally starving. I've been doing 30 minutes to an hour on the treadmill. I shoot for an hour a day. Sometimes I split it up. I was wanting to do the full hour, but I got to the 45 minute mark and I was like, I'm gonna pass out. I need to go eat. So as I was cooking this, I ate some pistachios, I ate a cheese stick, and I was drinking a Propel water because I was like, holy cow, I'm starving. <laughs> So I'm gonna eat all this and see how I feel. If I'm still hungry, I'll probably have a Greek yogurt because I am just that hungry today. Just finished eating all my food. I'm definitely gonna have a yogurt because I'm still hungry. And I thought I would just share kind of my experience with this throughout the process because I had a lot of people comment like they're interested to see, you know, how it goes, how I feel about it or just see, you know, see my journey, which I love living vicariously through other people too. So I'll definitely let you guys know exactly how I'm feeling the whole, you know, this whole process. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, but I think I'm on day like five now of doing it. I need to probably get like a journal and kind of keep track because I hate when I look back and I'm like, wait, how did it go? I can't remember. <laughs> so I need to start like, making a little journal of my journey. But anyway, enough about keto. What I have on the agenda for today is just kind of like a chill day. I wanna get out of the house, go do something. The weather is beautiful. So we're probably gonna get out, go do something. My husband is actually out of town. He left yesterday, like early in the morning. He had to go do a bunch of jobs all over Virginia. So they literally worked until I think one o'clock and then they're back at it right now. They're still, you know, out doing jobs, but he should be coming home later today. So I'm excited he's coming home tonight. So I'm excited for him to get home tonight. Watch some more Love is Blind. We are now on season four. It is so good. We're like addicted to it. But anyway, I'm gonna grab me a yogurt. I'm gonna put some, I think I'm gonna do chia seeds and flaxseed in it. Just because I was watching some videos and they're just saying like, make sure you get lots of healthy fats, omega-3s. And I wanna make sure I'm taking care of my gut health as well while I'm doing keto. So I'm trying to make sure I'm still getting my veggies in, of course, cause they are gonna be lower carb. And I am still doing some berries because berries are the best because they are more fibrous. So the net carbs in them is a lot lower. I mean, obviously I can't eat a ton of them, but I am still having about a handful of berries a day too. Just wanna make sure I'm taking care of my gut too while I'm doing this because I have heard keto cause you to be constipated and I definitely don't want that. So making sure I still get my greens in and speaking of greens, I am still of course drinking my AG1 which it does have a little bit of carbs but it's not a lot and once again, I'm more concerned on my gut health and all of that but I am really excited to get my keto strips in the mail. I really wanna see if I'm in ketosis because last time I tried, I think I lasted like maybe a week and I never was able to like register anything on our strips, which I'm, oh, camera got full on me. <laughs> um, but our strips, we've been having the keto strips for the longest time and that's why I wanted to replace them. So I'm kind of wondering like maybe the strips were too old back then as well whenever I tried using them because they were from when my husband did keto for a while and he did like what's called the snake diet. So maybe the strips were just old. But I am really anxious to see if it's gonna register if I'm in ketosis or not. 
Mom? Yeah. Okay, you want to water the bottom ones since you can reach those? Yeah. Okay, here. I'll turn it on the mister. Whoa. Okay, here you go. I don't think I showed you guys my new crossbody purse. I've been wanting a crossbody for a while because I was tired of carrying around my big luggage. I ordered this one off of Amazon and I love it so much. It's super simple. And I ordered a new um, little keychain thing. As cute as my Wama one was, <laughs> I was ready for a new one. So I love this. It matches my phone case. It's like squishy, but a good bracelet. Here's my phone case, and it's like the same, like almost like rubbery material, and then my little keychain. Love it. But Ethan is ready to go. You want to go to the park? All right, let's get out of the house. It is supposed to be really nice today, get up to like 70. Right now it's pretty chilly. Our bushes are blooming, and they are so pretty. Look at I don't know what kind they are, but they are gorgeous. Gum, gum. Gum. Okay. Chicken wing. Ethan is definitely just like me, so we rolled up to the park and what'd you say, Ethan? Um make too much people go. <laughs> There's too much people there. He's definitely my child, so he was like, I don't wanna go. So I was like, Okay, let's just go home and go for a walk. So we're back home and we're gonna go out for a nice little walk because it is starting to warm up. Pick a flower. <laughs> Making a wish. <laughs> oh, you're super. Fa oh my God! Look how much flowers. So many flowers. And they're so pretty, though. got in her laundry but I don't know like there is like stuff stuck to all of the inside of her leggings I'm wondering if that is what was causing her like weird rash on her knees I have no idea what it is but it's literally on the inside of every single one of her leggings so I'm gonna go soak these in the wash I'm gonna do like a rinse cycle I'm gonna soak them with the washing soda and then I'm going to run them through again um, and see if it takes it off. It's just so weird. Yeah, you 
He always falls asleep the funniest way. Got y'all propped up on the cheese balls right now. Ethan fell asleep watching TV, so I'm just kind of chilling. I was looking at like funny reels and stuff so I could make some more reels soon and share them on TikTok and stuff. If you guys don't follow me on there and you're on Instagram or TikTok, give me a follow. I have them always linked down in my description, but I wanted to kind of update you guys on what's going on with my hair. I've been getting a lot of comments um, about my curly hair, how you guys love it, and thank you guys. I've been wanting to wear it curly. I literally have been meaning to order my Verb Curl Cream. You guys know it's the cream I've literally used for years. It's the only one that I like to use in my hair. Um, I ran out of it like before we moved and I was like, oh, I'm just gonna wait until we move here and I kept forgetting to order more of it. So I finally ordered it so I can wear my hair curly and I knew I was gonna need it because there's so much humidity over here in Virginia Beach that I can't wear my hair straight in the summer. Like I physically cannot wear it straight. It'll just poof up and just immediately curl as soon as I go outside. So you're gonna be seeing it curly a lot here soon. And I do love my hair both ways. Like I love my natural curl. I just feel like on camera, like I know this is like stupid, but I stare at myself, you know, all the time when I edit my videos. And I'm like, man, I feel like when I wear my hair curly, it makes my face look so like chubby and round I don't know but that's one of the reasons why I'm like I like my hair straight it makes my face look thinner <laughs> but um I wanted to tell you guys I was planning on coloring my hair dark I had mentioned this before I was back and forth I was pretty adamant on going back dark because I didn't want to spend the money and you know just the upkeep and stuff I thought I saw someone's head over the fence I'm crazy um but I was talking to, you know, Courtney about it and my family and they were like, you know what, it's summertime, like this is the time you should keep your hair light and it looks pretty light and they really like the like caramel blonde that I've been doing because it, I feel like it suits me a lot better than before when I tried to go platinum blonde. That definite, definitely didn't really suit my um, like skin tone and stuff like that. So. They were like, you should really stick to it. And I was like, you know, I, I just don't want to spend the money on it. And my stepmom was like, hey, like you need to get in contact with my hair lady. She does a full head of highlights on my stepmom for 180. And I was like, you know what? That's really not that bad. I mean, a lot of places it's like 250 and up to get color and to get a haircut. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do it. Cause the last time I got my hair done was back in October. So I'm like, if I only go every six months, it's really not that expensive. So I decided I'm gonna keep the color um, that it is. I'm gonna go get my money piece touched up, just like have the blonde strip in the front and then just touch up the blonde and like bring it up a little bit because you know, it's like grown out a lot, but I'm gonna keep the balayage and everything. So I decided to wait on going dark, even though I do love my hair dark too. It's so hard, it's like I know the damage I'm causing um, going blonde. That's another reason why I didn't want to, but I really do love the blonde in my hair. So I'm gonna do it one more time. Maybe she'll be really good at like coloring it and keeping it healthy because I've had really long hair and it be blonde, but it takes like a really talented hairdresser who knows like my type of hair because I don't have like the normal type of hair. My hair is super dry, it just breaks easy because my hair is curly, so it's a lot different than someone who has straight hair. I mean, even when my hair is straightened, you know, some people will be like, oh my gosh, you need to get a haircut, and I'm like, no. Like, it doesn't matter how much of my hair you cut off, my ends will always look straggly, thin, and dry because I have dry hair. I have curly hair, so my hair is never gonna look like silky smooth whenever it's straightened. I mean, maybe that first day when they blow it out, I don't know how they make it look so beautiful, but after that, when I style my hair, it never looks like that again. So it just really takes a talented hairstylist to keep my hair healthy and blonde, but maybe she'll be a really good one. I'm excited. My stepmom's hair is beautiful. She does a great job. Courtney's actually gonna go to her too. And she does um, our family friend, Kim. She does her hair as well. So I feel like I'm gonna be in really good hands because both my stepmom and Kim have naturally curly hair and their hair looks really healthy. So 
I'm excited to go. My appointment is May 10th. She was booked up for a while, which really stinks because I'm the like type of person where I get really impatient and when I make up my mind on something, I like want to do it now. And that's how I was. I was like, I don't want to wait. And even Dwayne was like, you're actually going to wait for this appointment. And I was like, yeah. I'm gonna wait because I'd rather go to someone who I know is good than like take a chance and someone fry my hair because that's what happened to me when I moved to Lubbock. Like I had beautiful like blonde healthy hair and then I went to someone new and she fried it and I literally had to cut it to my chin. So I don't wanna make that mistake. I'm again. about to mix up a dessert for tomorrow because definitely not enough time for it to be done for tonight. But this is gonna be for my Ninja Creamy. I think I mentioned this to you guys, I can't remember, but I'm gonna be making a protein coffee ice cream. It is so delicious. It's keto friendly. You can literally sit and just like eat the whole thing if you want to, but I'm going to be splitting it up into two servings. So what I'm doing is adding in one packet of this instant coffee. I'm gonna be doing one and a half scoops of protein. So this time around, what I'm gonna do is one cup of almond milk, half a cup of milk. Last time I did one cup of this and half a cup of water because I didn't have any whole milk, but I feel like if I add whole milk, it's gonna make it extra creamy last time it was creamy but I feel like adding milk will like just elevate it to the next level so I'm gonna go ahead add all these ingredients into this and then I'm gonna be using my new frother to mix it up and then we're gonna put it in the freezer it has to be in there for I'd say a minimum of 8 to 12 hours I feel like 12 plus is better because sometimes I blended it and it just it's not all the way frozen so you don't get that good creamy texture so it's better to leave it in for over 12 hours in my opinion. are back from school while well, we're still waiting for Aubrey to come home but I was looking online trying to find a new recipe for me to make the kids with stuff that I had on hand because this week I bought like quite a bit of keto stuff and so I really want to try to shop my pantry and not buy anything else for dinners because I already spent quite a bit on like keto stuff so what I found online was this recipe using noodles, cream cheese, corn, and um, like sausage links. And you guys saw I bought a bunch of sausage links whenever I went to Sam's Club the other day. So we're gonna make that for the kids. Obviously I'm not eating that because I'm doing keto, but I still have the buffalo chicken dip left over that I told y'all I was gonna make the other day, which by the way, was so good and I'm not a huge fan of pork rinds I've never been like that big of a fan of them not that I think they're bad but they're just not something where I'm like ooh, that sounds good but it is so good with buffalo chicken dip y'all it's bomb.com so if you're looking for like a way to lessen your carbs and have something delicious if it's like at a party or you know even for dinner that is a really good go-to. I was blown away. So I'm gonna eat some more of that tonight and probably do a side salad with it just because I need to get my greens in. And I have a boiled egg that I already made the other day. So I'm gonna do a boiled egg in there, probably a little bit of ham sandwich meat and then also my spicy pickled onions because they're bomb.com. So that's what I'm gonna do for dinner. So I don't have to worry about that. That'll be easy to throw together. So we're gonna go ahead and get started on the kids' dinner. Hopefully it turns out really good. It stinks. I thought my husband was gonna be coming home a little bit sooner today, but work is taking a lot longer. So it looks like he's not gonna be getting home until probably like midnight, maybe a little later. So that really sucks. So I'm sure we'll have leftover dinner, which might end up working out good. Maybe I will end up having to cook dinner tomorrow, which would be amazing. It's starting to rain. I still am just like in awe every time it rains. I love it. It has been so long since we've seen this much rain. You really do learn to appreciate the little things in life when you haven't seen them in forever. But I'm hoping my plants aren't getting too much water. 
you guys did comment on my last video about the planner boxes um, and like drilling holes at the bottom. We did drill hole. We drilled one hole in each bucket, and I'm hoping that's enough holes. Let me know down in the comments if you think it needs more holes than one. I just wasn't sure. My husband was like, "No, I think one's enough." And I really wish I was gonna do rocks at the bottom. I just I was too impatient. I wanted to put them together. I probably should have did rocks. Or you guys had really good ideas of putting plastic bottles at the bottom. That would have been cool too, but oh well. Maybe next time, but I'm about to mix up a propel packet in my water while I cook the kids dinner. Y'all, okay. I think I just had the most brilliant idea of a dessert that I could make myself that will be keto friendly. So you guys, I think I showed y'all. I either showed you on here or I showed Instagram, either way. I make a homemade gummy bear and they turn out really, really good, but I typically use like a fruit juice with it. But I was thinking if I use the flavored Propel waters and mix it with the gelatin because the gelatin is like high protein and stuff, I could have a good gummy bear for a dessert or a snack. And I'm like, ooh, that sounds really good. I think I might attempt that after dinner tonight because the gummy bears are super easy to throw together and that sounds really good. And I wanna experiment just to see like how it turns out. So just had a brilliant idea that I'd share it and we're gonna make them tonight after dinner. This is the gelatin that I ordered because y'all know I'm all about having grass fed. It's just so much more better for you. So this is the breakdown of it. So for one scoop, it's 43 calories. It has some sodium and protein and no carbs, no fat. I really think this is gonna be a great idea. It has lots of amino acids in here, which I know on keto you can lose a lot of that. So. It'll be really good to eat this anyway, and I think it's gonna be so good. I will put the recipe that I use down in the description where you use like a fruit juice, and they turn out so, so good. Okay, let's eat. Do they rate it for you? And you can kiss my hair first. Okay, I'll you. I want to see. Yeah, like that. Okay, I'm gonna do the rest of the These are the best spicy onions ever. You have to get this brand, not the other brand, it's gross. Smells so good. Taste test. Have you tried it? Adrian, what you think? Mm. Is it good? Yeah. You like it? Yeah. That's mm. good. It's good? Yeah. Oh, good. I'm happy. Mm. We did add the boys wanted fresh Parmesan cheese on top, so they have it, but Adrian's eating it just as is. Kids are all done eating, so I'm gonna go ahead and just get some of the cleaning done around the house. This is typically the time that I do like vacuuming, laundry, whatever really needs to get done. Especially if like my husband's home and I know we're gonna be watching a show at night. This is like the time where I'm like, okay, let me hustle, get it done so I don't have to worry about it. But he's not coming home tonight, so I have plenty of time. But I still wanna get some things done. I need to vacuum downstairs. I really try to make a point to run the robot vacuum at least once, maybe two times a day. And then sometimes I'll go in and vacuum on top of it too, just because the floors are probably my number one thing that drive me crazy in this house. They are so lightly colored. 
that I just feel like they're dirty all the time. It drives me crazy. So I'm gonna clean the floors really quick. Pick up our extra dinner. I'm gonna have the kids get started on the dishes here in just a moment too. Aubrey already went ahead and vacuumed upstairs. That's been her chore. So she'll vacuum the stairs and then she vacuums upstairs every day for me just to kind of help with all the vacuuming because I feel like we vacuum so much now because we have the hard floors, so trying to stay on top of them. But anyway, let me get this done because tonight is gonna be one of those nights where I need to wash my hair, I need to shave, I need to do all the self-care. So I need to get the house chores done so I can have a chill night tonight. The kids found a frog. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. The name is Mr. Froggy. Mr. Froggy, yeah. I love his name. No. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh. The kids are so funny. They get so excited because over here they actually find like lizards and frogs and Texas we really didn't see it all that often. Here are my super cute little molds. It came in a pack of three. Super affordable. I got all three of these, plus it came with three little syringe things. I believe it was around $10, and these are so stinking cute. I wanted these because they're bigger gummies, and it would just be easier to fill them up. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. And to make these gummies, you only need three ingredients. And for me, I'm just gonna be using two because I'm just trying to keep it as like healthy-ish as possible. So I'm just gonna be using the gelatin plus the Propel mixed with water. And if you wanna add an extra sweetener, you can mix in like stevia or maple syrup or you know whatever you wanna do. But since I'm trying to keep this keto and everything, I'm not gonna add the sweetener into it. So we're gonna try it with eight ounces of water, which is like around half of what you're supposed to mix this with. So hopefully it's gonna give it a lot of flavor. Oops. For every half a cup of juice in my case, Propel, you're gonna need three tablespoons of gelatin and each scooper is basically a tablespoon. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna double it because I want to make sure it tastes good. So we're gonna do a trial run first time and see how it goes. So it initially has like an applesauce texture. It does thicken up a bit, but once it loses that appearance, then you know it's done and you're ready to add it to your molds. And then you just place it in the fridge, literally not even five minutes and it hardens up and you're ready to eat them. I'm so excited. Just got my package in the mail. It is new dining room chairs. Let me see if it has. So we ended up finally deciding on some chairs for the dining room because we haven't had any this whole time. So stay tuned. We're gonna be unboxing these whenever my husband is home and can build them. But I think it's gonna look really good in our dining room. Just got my ketone testing strips in the mail. I'm gonna go try them out and see if anything shows up. So I just did the first one and I mean, it's hard to tell on camera, but I'd say I'm like zero. Was hoping it would be darker by now. Eating the gummy bears. Oh my gosh, you guys, these are seriously so good. So the first batch, 
I didn't add any extra Propel powder, just the one that I put initially. But for the second batch, because I tasted it and I was like, oh, it's not that strong. So for this one, while I was mixing it, I added about a half of a pack of more of the Great Propel. Oh my gosh, these are seriously so good and they are just so cute and it makes me so happy too because they're keto friendly. I can eat as many of these as I want. They're just, they're so cute. The texture isn't exactly like a gummy bear. It's like a mix between a gummy bear and Jello, but I really enjoy them and I just think they're the cutest thing ever. But definitely recommend, even if you just want to eat it as a snack, it's so good. Very low calorie and high protein. So I'm gonna eat these, finally sit down and relax a little bit. Instagram has sucked me in. I've been sitting here for like 30 minutes watching funny reels. But I'm gonna go ahead and close out the vlog right here. It's almost time for me to get the kiddos in bed. And then I'm gonna take a bath, do some self-care, all that good stuff. But if you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new here and you haven't subscribed yet, I would love for you to subscribe. I upload motherhood content every single week and I would love to have you here. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye!